Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Checking in on oil, starting with USO on the daily time frame, US oil on the daily time frame. So we have our higher low established at 46.98, some bounce follow through, and we're slowing down a little bit. The question is going to be tomorrow, can we break 48.41? If we get a bullish reaction to the inventory report, we're looking at this weekly downtrend resistance. And looking back at that, this is where that line is coming from. It has rejected the price time and time again. It's very clear and valid to me at this point. And as far as the four hour time frame goes, the bulls are trying to just keep up this higher, low, higher, high pattern for this bounce to keep playing out. We can see lots of tops at 48.41 today, a triple top on this four hour time frame. If that breaks, we'll see continuation up towards 49 psychological resistance. Otherwise, if we see a bear break of 47.71, we know the bulls don't have much momentum and certainly not enough momentum to get up to this downtrend resistance line. So the bulls still do have control, but that inventory report is obviously going to dictate short term direction with how that reaction goes. USO on the daily time frame, seeing a two day bounce, higher low established at 9613. Current resistance is 989, and then we're looking at 10 psychological if the bulls can see some continuation. On the weekly time frame for USO, we can see that big bullish reversal candlestick didn't really get much follow through last week, but the bulls are making up for it this week and trying to see a, a similar candlestick, but trying to close the end of this week up at the highs to be looking for some follow through. We have our low, lower, or I should say, our, yeah, our low of the bounce lower high still now we have to see a higher low and a higher high for oil to reverse this weekly trend and get back in control and oil is going to have to do the same thing on the daily time frame where we have our low and we need to see a higher low and higher high and just see continuation for these bounces on on these bulls which are struggling at this resistance but if they can get over this resistance and get back above 50 and turn it into support we could be looking for oil to significantly turn around the short term action but again i need to see ideally a break of 50 40 before i'm a believer that the weekly trend has changed and this weekly trend has favored the bulls now at this point for seven months so i appreciate you watching we're going to continue following oil and tracking it closely i am a believer that the bulls are close to turning this trend but again it just comes down every week to that inventory report which direction is that momentum going to be going into the end of the weekend and we'll see what tomorrow brings thanks again have a great night